Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video today we will be painting a beautiful cards. I will be using this Gestarker watercolor paper. It is 24 by 32 centimeters. I have divided it into four parts. Glued one on top of this board. This is just a leftover from my block of paper. Just the bottom part. I put a Mod Podge on it and now I'm using it for stretching my papers. And first one we're gonna paint two bubbles. So I drew in two circles, one a little bit smaller and one a little bit bigger. And also the top of those two bubbles, but you can definitely use any size of circles you like, depending on the size of your paper. If you want them to be larger ones like mine on your paper, just use larger one. If you want them to be smaller one, that would also be fine because you can definitely later on use this as a card and maybe you want to leave some part for the text. That's also okay. I first one, this larger one is going to have stripes. So I drew in also the stripes. Second one will have a little circles, circles on top, but I did not sketch them. I will do them later on when I start to paint. Now I have mixed in my colors. I'm using Etcher watercolors. And first one is this red. This is just like something like a primary red and a pretty pink mix of that red and a pretty pink painted in the top part and then added just a little bit of the green to that same mixture and just going to top in a few toppings just to make the variety in the color. And then I cleaned my brush and as you can see, I've just touched the tip of my brush and water in it. I have just touch where the paint is on my stripe and the paint is starting to move and bleed into that clean water. And also if you have too much bleeds, you can just move it around onto your clean water and also add in a little bit of the pigment if that is what you like. Now I have picked up some of the black from my collection of colors, my set of colors and topped in a little bit of that black. Also added just a tiny bit of red and topped in just to create some 3D effect and the, to make that bubble look like a bubble, not just a flat surface, but a bubble. So I'm playing it with the shadows and a light on it. All the stripes I will be doing in the same way, just adding a little bit of that red on top, topping in with a mix of same red, but with a touch of green or just black in it, and then top in a little bit of the black. Move it onto the next stripe just to add a little bit of the interest. I do want it to make it look like it's white and just reflecting some of that red. So just keep that in mind. We're not painting actually that, but just reflecting color on that light part. Now moving in for, to the second one, I've painted in the dots on that one and same way, just painted with the red on top, added a little bit of black and just with the clean water, I moved it into the part which is white. Also did a little bit of the background. Well, actually that's going to be something like this balls, these bubbles are sitting on, whatever that is. I painted in with a very, very light wash of red, added in top splatters with red, with that black, and also in black, I mixed in just a tiny bit of the blue of ultramarine to paint in that upper part where the bubble is hanging on, where the little thread should be, but I did not uh, painted that. You can also add in the, the, the thread or some fabric, something that, if you like that. Also just doing a little bit more of the detail to the background and I'm gonna pick up, actually I decided to just get this flat brush and pick up a little bit of the paint just to add some reflection, some light to my red part of the bubble. So I'm just now picking up the paint with a brush with a clean water and tapping in with a tissue paper, just picking up the paint little bit of the splatters with white gouache and with that we are done with the first one and just remove the tape and we can move on to the second one. Second one are gonna be little berries. We're gonna do the little berries and I drew in first the branches and then I'm gonna draw in circles for the berries. 
Again, you can place them just as you like. I just wanted to demonstrate to show you how I paint them, but the composition and the placement of those berries, you can definitely do just as you like. So after drawing them, I picked up again, same mixture uh, of red and that pretty pink, painted in the first layer and on top with a little bit of green in the same mixture, top in onto my, onto my berries. And also I've left a one little part white just to make it look like there is some light hitting there and also maybe some snow so whatever i've mixed in a little bit of the black and brown from my set of colors again and then painting in those branches and for the lower branch you can see me right now i picked up just a clean water with my brush and went just to that to those berries at the edges and now when i'm painting them they will touch that wet surface and bleed into it and that's what i wanted it i wanted to make it a little bit looser look also so that's the reason why i did that if you if you want to keep it a tighter look you don't have to do that you don't have to do the bleeds that's just optional and up to you. A little bit of the splatters also in that part where it's still wet and around. And with this brush, I'm just again uh, moving those paints with those splatters I did. I just do want to smudge them slightly, so I'm just moving them around. Again, quite optional if you don't want the bleeds, if you don't want to go outside the borders of your circles, that's also fine. One thing left to do, to do the branches, again, same mixture of black and brown. A little bit more of the splatters with red and also with that red with tiny bit of green or black and I decided at the end I wanted to make those berries at the bottom also a little bit looser so I have added just a little bit of the water beneath the berry and then in the berry topped in a little bit of the red that I did use and that red just bleed uh, down and created that effect I was going for. Also a little bit of the splatters with white gouache and few splatters with a red, same red I used. I just picked up a little bit of the clean water and splattered that. And with that, we're done with the second one also. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was fun. Maybe it looks a little bit harder than it is. It's quite, quite simple. And I hope you will give it a try. You can put in your text if you like it and then put it onto a card. That, that would also be awesome. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.